guys, what's up? Uh, back here again, Bluefin414 here on our Cardboard Industries channel. Today, um, <clears throat> I just want to say, sorry that we've been gone for a while. We had, you know, we had school that was getting in the way because it was approaching the end of the year. So, things got in the way like exams, tests, so on, grades, makeup, makeup work, and the works. Um, <clears throat> I'm just glad to say that we are back. Um, definitely going to be posting more videos than usual. Hopefully I'm going to start getting on some more projects soon because I have been off uh, some of my projects lately. So I'm just hoping that we can get back into this and uh, hopefully make up for lost times. So today here I have this revolver that I made um, how long ago? I cannot remember. Um, but I can't even remember the model of it, what it is. But um, I, I, remember, I do remember one thing is I had fun making it. Because uh, I did, I do like making revolvers because the idea of a spinning drum. Uh, now this revolver is about ten and a half inches <coughs> in length. Um, so if you guys can tell me, ten and a half inch revolver, ten and a half, roughly ten and a half. Yeah, it's roughly ten and a half inches or ten or eleven inches um, in length. Uh, it's got this right here, and so I have I can have no idea what this would have been. Um, I made this a long time ago, um, but it was really cool. Uh, some of the stuff has been falling off. Like I had, a mat, I had a, a drum release right here, or no, it was right here. Um, but I I didn't make it too long ago because this is when I started implementing uh, the whole cover up method for the corrugation and this is a very strong handle so this is when I started getting really good at the whole strong lattice work thing like this handles really tough so pretty good um, now the iron sights pretty dead awful as you can tell you can see how crooked that that uh, that barrel is it's awful uh, I've tried retaping it quite a few times over the over the uh, period of time that I've had this that I made this um, but it just, I stopped caring about it. Um, but it's got pretty interesting sights, though. Um, very huge front sight. And then uh, it's got this really awkward, almost about to fall off, um, trigger guard here. And then, of course, the hammer, which is just two pieces of cardboard, cut, paste, glue, all that. Not amazing, but... It was still awesome to make, and I'm probably going to make a snub nose revolver pretty soon because I do love snub nose revolvers. Those things are so cool, concealable, and they just look awesome. And you know, I uh, I haven't had the uh, I haven't had the uh, privileges the privilege to shoot any revolver of any sort, um, but I really hope that I can do that. Uh, my uncle's got a 38 special. Hopefully, he can take me out to our range sometime and shoot that off. But um, back to the gun. Uh, you see some detail here on the drum, and even when we look at it right here, you can see some of the spots I just drew in of where uh, bullets would go into. <coughs> Pretty basic drum. I just made a piece of cardboard in a circle, uh, glued it off at two places, drilled some holes, and then uh, ran a. Uh, let's see where is it? Then I just ran a, uh, a dowel straight through. Um, pretty basic, but I had fun with it. Um, yeah, it's pretty fun. Again, I'll give you guys some more detail shots here, so you guys might be able to tell me what kind of uh, gun this is. Um, I'll just give you that side view right there. And clip. Top. And then don't see why it matters, but... I thought that the shape of the handle might give it away, but I can't even find this handle anywhere. I'm sure if I go back through all my, my stencils for my guns, I might be able to find it, but I never really wrote notes on them. Only recently did I start doing that, like with my uh, with my Thompson uh, sketches. By the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and resume that project pretty soon, so look out for that. Um, but only recently did I actually start writing down what the guns were on all the sketches that I did. Um, so that's disappointing, but um, at least it uh, 
allows me to prepare <coughs> for my future, understanding that if I forget what a gun is, I can always just go back to the notes and figure it out. Um, definitely a very, very rough first revolver, but uh, if you guys comment down below some revolvers uh, in the comments that you guys know of, uh, I'm going to probably put those comments into a hat, pick them out, pick a revolver, and uh, build that. Now, that actually kind of brings an idea, I guess, for every video, you know, at the end I'll bring up, like, for every, like, rifle, like, I'll put rifles into a category, you know, sniper rifles, stuff like that. It's kind of a good idea. What do you guys think of that? Just drawing, uh, drawing, um, you know, choices from a hat, and uh, whoever is the lucky commenter, I'll, uh, <coughs> I'll give you a shout out in that video. Uh, once again, guys. Um, please do like and subscribe. I've been, I went back to this channel and I saw that we had been getting a lot of um, views and likes on our videos, but not as many subscribers. I get that you guys, are, that most of you guys might just be here for a one time, um, one time little visit. And if, and if you go back to watch two, maybe three or more of our videos, please do just consider subscribing so you can always be there on the ready to be one of the first people to subscribe, to uh, comment. And the first commenter of every video in that next video, they will get a shout out. So I will see you guys in the next video.